Well, hello there. Welcome back, you guys. Today, we're going to do some good old fashioned designing the area, putting in new houses, roads, just, you know, all of that good, juicy stuff. So, yeah, a lot to do in this episode. We're going to be filling in all of those blank areas. So, taking inspiration from, if we go over here, some of these areas right here. So, you can see it's kind of chaotic buildings, smaller ones, larger ones popping out, a little bit of a mixture. And then we're also going to be taking some inspiration from this area over here, um, very Russian-y. So, we're going to mix those together and just see how it all goes. Now, I did do this in the last episode. So, if you guys did not watch that, I would recommend going and checking that out. Since we have updated this big interchange it basically allows us now to expand a lot in this area because the the previous interchange wasn't good couldn't handle traffic very well so now we have this one we're ready to go for some new residential areas and more traffic so and it actually ends up kind of being like chernobyl it it looks really overgrown it's got the russian well Ukrainian in, in that case the the old Soviet style buildings lots of plants everywhere It's kind of overgrown reminds me of Chernobyl, right? So anyway, what we're going to be doing here I don't want there to just be one level. I want to break it up a bit So we have three different levels on this part We have the water then the on either side of the the train line and then obviously up on the main road right there Now since that is a main road don't want to add in too many connections onto there because there is a good amount of traffic that goes through there we don't want to disrupt that because you know disrupting that you know city skyline as soon as there's one little car in incident you know there's going to be a three kilometer you know big congestion lineup so you've got to make sure there's not too many connections um i do add one connection closer to the intersection but i completely turn off all of the the turns that you know cross in front of each other so that should not be an issue now we're just going to add in connections to the existing inter inter I can't talk intersections right there so you can see right there that's the intersection I add but then I remove the traffic lights and things like that so it doesn't actually become an intersection in their eyes so they just go straight past and it's not really an issue and also I know it's right near the theme park that no one goes to but technically it's not an issue because there's lots of trees and honestly no one even goes there so it's not really an issue now, another thing that we are going to be doing is extending over the highway. So I wanted to build around the highway just for something different. And yeah, because a lot, of, a lot of the time when you're driving along this highway in particular, there's really not anything just besides trees built beside the road. So I wanted to do something, putting in some high rises. So obviously if we're going to build on that side, we need a bridge over the top. You know, it's probably better to put the the bridge as a tunnel because it's obviously going to save money but I wanted to be more dramatic and I wanted to be able to actually see it so that's why it's a bridge going over the top now there's got now I'm going to be adding in a lot of little roundabouts throughout the area now the something that you guys don't always necessarily get when I put in a roundabout you think oh he's going crazy with roundabouts again but sometimes like this example right here instead of just doing a, a normal intersection I do a roundabout because they're a little centerpiece and you can put some trees in the middle some flowers and it just makes it really nice and inviting and like if you go to fancy housing estates here in Australia you'll see lots of roundabouts with fancy stuff in the middle so I just like to do that just as something different and actually, you'll notice I didn't put any roundabouts on the main road, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so this area on this side of the road that we're building on now, it's quite old. So you'll notice all of these buildings are very, very... Well, some of them look a bit dirty, they're old, they're grey. But I do try to break it up with some more modern buildings that have a bit of colour in them. But not too many, because I wanted it to be old. And that's why it gives me the Chernobyl vibes because of the older buildings and all of the plants and they just look a bit run down in my opinion but I try not to make it too you know too feral looking I still try to make it look somewhat inviting but you guys will see you guys will you guys will see very soon So all of the traffic going through here, it is all directed back onto that main road going through the area. So there isn't really any other way for them to go through. Actually, there is that one that goes over the bridge that goes over the highway. So there is that one and um, the train for some reason isn't working. So that's why you probably never see it go through in this video. Don't know what's going on with the train. Could be a mod issue because it usually works. So I don't know 
what is going on with that. Now I just wanted to add in a few little pedestrian pathway connections. One thing I should mention is that since this is an older area, usually older areas they don't really have any emphasis on good walkability. So you'll notice I haven't put in any major pathway connections because we do have the ferry and the train station right down near the water. So realistically it would be a good idea to connect a pathway from the other side of the highway all the way down the hill down to the water and then connect up to those public transport options. But in this case I didn't do it because like I said it is an older area and um, yeah usually older areas don't really have an emphasis, emphasis on walkability. So I mean they can still walk on the side of the road and then just wait at the traffic light to cross the road, so not really a big issue. And it's not like there's a huge amount of people in this area anyway. Um, I don't think it's really any more than 500 people, to be honest. It's pretty, pretty small. So yeah, we don't really need too many pedestrian pathways anyway. So you can see it's starting to come together pretty good now. The roads, they're all just small. I don't really put in parking lots. Um, this area, it's just more of a filler area. It's not an area that is a like a centerpiece for the city. So probably after I build this area, I probably won't even look at it to be honest. You know what I mean? Like you build, you build certain areas that you constantly look at that are the main focus, and then you have the other areas that are just just filler areas. They just fill in the spaces between significant stuff. So you know what I mean? So that's why this area, it's just going to have a lot of trees just to fill in the awkward spaces. Um, and then lots of the larger, larger buildings. So these ones, like, look at those. <laughs> they look a little bit older, right? They look, they look a little bit dirty. They need a good wash. And yeah, they look all right. They fit in with the whole area, the older vibe that we are going for. But you know what? It's probably not good to have the tourist area go past all of these older buildings. You know what I mean? It doesn't really rep represent the city that well. But anyway, let's skip to the end and have a look at how it all looks. All right, you guys, and there we have it. Nice new little addition to the area. Uh, originally, I wasn't too sure what I was going to do in this area, so it's nice to see that it's turned out to be something substantial. Now, the sunlight is kind of in the wrong direction, so it's not making it look pretty. Whereas, if I turn it around this way, ah, uh, there we go, we've got sunlight. That looks so much better. Yeah, but anyway, so it's pretty, pretty bushy <laughs> in through here, not gonna lie. But um, it's just easier to make it bushy than instead of detailing really in depth, you know what I mean? And plus a lot of the surrounding areas are really bushy anyway, so it kind of blends it and blends in. And you know what, it kind of gives me like Chernobyl vibes. We've got, <laughs> it's kind of a little bit overgrown. Now, um, one thing I, I should just mention again, I, w I didn't do any specific pathways like connecting up for, for example from this side down to here because I wanted this to kind of be like an older looking area so you'll notice a lot of the buildings in through here they are older um, yeah not too many new ones a couple of new ones just for a bit of color and, and variety but most of them are pretty old um, some of them are actually kind of a bit ugh. Like, yeah, a bit, a bit questionable. But yeah, it's turned out pretty good. we got a nice little bit of a green space here. And I thought it's good to put that there because we do have a bit of a view. Um, yeah, so I, even though we're right next to the campus, I imagine all of this is going to be like student accommodation or something like that. And um, I've put lots of larger trees between these houses here and the theme park that no one ever goes to. Like, look at this. What, a couple of cars, they're probably all the workers' cars, but literally no one goes here. I clicked on it before. Actually, I'll click on it again. Click on it again. And visitors this week, two. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Big numbers, making a lot of money. Not sure what's going on here. Suddenly they're all turning and I don't know. You do you, you guys. You do you. So here we are. Let's just go down into first person quickly. You know me. I like to have a little bit of an explore. Um, we'll probably find some things, maybe some plants that are overlapping or I don't know, just maybe something won't look as good. And you'll notice I put hedges just to kind of mask out the weird terrain and where all the bushes are just shoved in. I've got a bit of a pathway going down there. So at least we have that pathway going around. And yeah, here we go. Got some shops there. The supermarket. Now come around here. Um, I should just mention that the train. I still can't get the train to work. I don't know what's going on. It's just not working. Um, come down here. So if you want to go down to the actual main area, you go down here, which I quite like. It's quite cozy through here. You got all the bush here, the larger buildings. You got the hedge. 
Ah, it's just nice. I like it. Very, very cozy. But let's not go down there because we have seen all of that before. If you haven't, you can go check out that video and um, some little roundabouts here and there just to just to make it a little bit nicer, a bit of variety as well. And God, this is really a bit bushy. Someone needs to mow their grass. And I know that when I press go forward, the W button, it is really jumpy, but for some reason, I can't actually adjust the first person camera settings. Like obviously I have the, the button there, but when I click on the button, nothing happens. It doesn't open. So I can't change this for you guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't do this. And then this is our, our view. Oops, there we go. Nice view. You know what? Let's just jump over here. I love how we have all of these big buildings, a little bit laggy, but look all the way around we have all these huge, big, really modern, well not modern, but modern in comparison to these buildings. And then in the middle here we have just all of these really old things. Ugh, I just love the, the transition between it all. Oh, it's really busy down there as well. That's really good to see. So let's go up here a little bit. We'll go around the corner. And um, I just thought it's nice to... God, that's noisy. I just thought it's nice to leave like this big bit of green space open and then this bit over here open as well. Just instead of building on it and just, you know, being predictable, doing something a little bit different. I like to think this is like for the birds or something. It's a bird reserve. So there's a little pathway going through there, a bit wobbly, but let's pretend we didn't see that. Come around here. I just threw on this random tower. Didn't really do much with it. And yeah, so this is basically where we started with the, all of the development come up here. Yeah, so it's nothing too special. Um, very, very quick build, not too much detailing because I I suspect I'll probably never really look at this area again. Um, it's not really that important. It's not really something that is a eye-catching piece of the city. It's just going to be something that blends in. So that's why there's just lots of plants everywhere just to make it look like it's filled in instead of leaving it a bit empty. So yeah. Lots of people, actually I did make a zone, so let me let me just check out how many people moved into this zone. Chestnut Park, for, oh, only 425. In comparison, Hamilton Park, almost 2,000, so yeah, big comparison. You, you'd think there would be more, because these are all residential, whereas I don't think that's too much, it's mostly offices, but okay, well, anyway, that is all for this video. Um, if you didn't check out the last video, last video we did this guy over here and I think now that we've done this, it's basically allowed us to put in some houses here, put in some houses over here. Don't know what, I don't know what this is, couldn't figure it out. Um, yeah, but now, now that we have this, we have a lot more, you know, it, it's just easier to expand because I know that it can handle all of our new traffic. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys hopefully very soon with another video. Bye guys. Bye.